Hey guys, it's Sheila from One Pretty Little Box. I'm out here in my office once again. Um, it is so nice outside in about 60 o'clock. I'm gonna insert a clip of the waves from the waves so you can see what my view is. And I'm just brainstorming today. Last night I worked on a big chunk of my book, one of the hardest chunks I've been putting off. Um, and actually, that's just the first of a couple. The next one I need to work on tonight. Um, and I think just sticking Pandora on and earplugs in my ears and plugging away at the computer really got me in a groove and I love it. Um, I'm working on a better writing schedule for myself because just trying to fit it in, I find a million things to do in a day. So, that's that. Um, I think I'm going to attach this and the wave pool to a little bit more uh, more in-depth video of my dirty little secret. That's the book that I'm working on. And um, the writing process, I'd love to do a video specifically on that, but it's been a year in the making, guys. Seriously. Lots of starts and stops, lots of pauses, lots of brain breaks lots of focus on other things besides that on purpose and the neat thing is I have a vision for another book that I want to write a fictional book again and um it will be interesting for you guys to read that because I think you'd be very interested in it but I can't start on it until I finish it so my goal is still to finish it this month but I still have another 40 to 60,000 words I want to write so um there's a lot more writing to do. That's cool. That's good. I think once I get past this next big chunk, the rest will be kind of easy breezy. Won't be as heavy. I'm really a heavy part. So. Alright, I will talk to you guys later. Go enjoy some sunshine today. It's beautiful. Hey guys, Sheila. I'm back from the wave pool. We were there for about three hours. I'm fixing to get in the shower and clean up and get some stuff done. But I just wanted to say hey and tell you such a great time. It was just the boys and I today and we just, you know, it was just perfect time. It was a good, good time together. I, uh, I treasure those moments with them of giggling and, and having some pretty serious talks and, you know, giggling, <laughs> playing silly water games, and I don't know. It's just a great reminder to treasure those moments. And I am reading, hold on, let me grab it. I am reading Brendan Bichard's um, Life's Golden Ticket, and I pretty much reserved this for the wave pool. But as you see, I'm not getting very far because I get in the water with the kids because it's so hot. It's a great way to cool off. But I come to a part in this book that kind of coordinates a little bit with the book that I'm writing. And I just love it when the pieces of life come together like that. It's like totally putting a puzzle together and finding a piece that you may not have found if you had not been at that moment in that time at that particular place, you know. So it's kind of like, it's a great reminder just to stop stop putting so much pressure on yourself and actually embrace the day as it is. I'm going to share this video. You guys are going to see this ratchet face <laughs> fresh from the sun um, that really needs to hop in the shower. But um, this is who I am. I, I'm not going to put on a fake face for you and a fake, give you fake crap on this channel. I'm just going to be genuine and honest and open and show you those moments. Um, you know they're important usually I find when people are watching videos they're not watching to see your perfect life there are too many youtubers right now who are worried about 
presenting a perfect life for people to see and try to model their own life after. And that's not why people are watching videos. People watch vlogs like these just to see, oh, I'm normal, okay? She's going through that. I've been through that. Or she's going through the same thing I'm going through. It's okay. That's how life is. I just wish more YouTubers would get it and stop feeling like they have to show everything so perfect and just be real. But sadly, that's even in face-to-face -face relationships. No one wants to be real. No one wants to, to, to let tears fall when they need to fall. No one wants to say, hey, that's not what I mean and forget it because you're not getting it. So we'll have this conversation another time. I had that a few weeks ago. I had to just jump up and tell someone that I love very deeply. Um, he's like a brother to me that you just don't get it. You don't get what I'm trying to say. So let's just change conversations and it's okay. It's very okay. And later that night we had a deep, deeper conversation and a deeper level. And I think we saw eye to eye and we met a compromise in the middle of understanding and that's life. That's what it should be. If you're a YouTuber and you're making videos and you're making them to make other people think that you're so wonderful, stop. Just stop. Don't even make them. Well, I guess you could. There might be a few people out there who are searching for that, but don't. Be real. If you're going through something, share it. You can use a little privacy with it. You can kind of tiptoe around it, and but you don't have to be so incognito and say, oh, I can't share this information with you because it's just not right. And I don't want you guys to get, think I'm negative. You're real. I'm a very uh, positive, upbeat person, but I have down days. I have days where I'd rather crawl up under my pillow and bury my head and pull the covers up tight and not come out. It happens. Usually those are hormonal days now that I'm able to really chart these things and realize, oh, Okay, well, that's why. But anyway, I am probably going to add more to this video. It might be first kind of, I'm not going to say it's a day in the life of, but it may end up kind of sort of being that way, just different clips of the day of what we're doing. I need to go to the bank later, and um, we're having Subway for dinner, so I need to pick up, pick up food. But then it's more writing. i got to get through this, you guys. It's okay. If you're having a rough day today, just know that it gets better. If you're having a fantabulous day, make memories and hold on to them because a tough day is coming. Let's just be real. Not every day is all sunshine, but it's how you take it and accept it and move with it as to what it really is, um, what it turns out to be. It makes sense. I'm upbeat and positive, but I know in the back of my head, okay. This is an amazing feeling. I'm going to make some memories today because next week, who knows what's going to pop up. Did I tell y'all my dryer broke? My new dryer? And now I have to wait two weeks for a repair guy to come out because it's under warranty and it's just... <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> Thankfully, it's sunny and hot and it's summer and I use a trampoline for my clothes, hanging clothes out. All right. I got to get in the shower feeling kind of gross. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, this is the end of my video for the day. Um, I'm out in my natural dryer. <laughs> I'm using the trampoline. I just wanted to tell you guys thanks for watching and for subscribing. I do plan on having a more organized video. This was just a spur of the moment for the day. I'm hoping to have it up edited, edited and up by this evening if not you'll see it first thing saturday morning and then that is that it feels so much better out here now than it did um just even an hour ago it was still so stifling but the sun has transitioned over and um actually let's see if you can see it you see that little white dot right about there that's the moon <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So crazy. Well, the boys and I had a, fam a fantabulous day in the sun. 
My nose and my cheeks are a little pink and that's okay. That's part of what summer is about for us. I did go to the bank and to Subway and to Walmart. Um, we wanted to pick up some chips to go with our subs. But when I was in there, they had watermelons on sale for $2.99. So I grabbed one of those and grabbed another case of water because we go through a lot of water right now. Oh, and the boys wanted an HDMI cord, a double HDMI cord for their Xbox so that they could play together a couple games, which, whatever. Ten bucks to make them happy. You know, teenagers, they don't take a whole lot sometimes. And I think that's all I owe. They got sodas to drink with their subs. And I needed some more strawberry watermelon water enhancer stuff because I really like that. But, um... That was our Friday. That was our Friday. So thanks for joining us for the day. I touched on a lot of different things. There's a couple of videos I want to do. I need to kind of jot them down and write them down for my planner. I am fixing to go in. It's almost 8 o'clock. As bright as it is, it is almost 8 o'clock. I'm going to go in and um, see if I can get some writing done. I've been really kind of playing too much this week on um, Sims Free Play on my phone. That's always fun. Anyway, thanks for watching today. I hope to do a few more day in the lives of and include everyone in it and different activities and just few little things. But, you know, it's a start. Talk to you later. Bye.